So Kaylin, uh, for what was a, such a positive start, it was such a uh, disappointing that it ended the way it did. Yeah, definitely. I think we really took the game to um, Slavia Prague and we were confident in the first section of the first half, going up and getting a corner almost immediately and um, playing the football that we'd kind of wanted to play and I think we kind of nullified their threats quite well for the majority of the first half and I think it's just so disappointing to not only concede as many goals as we did but to concede three in such a short space of time which really set us back at half time. And obviously playing in the, the league, going from domestic football to, to European is quite a, a big jump up, but um, I don't think the scoreline shows it. Tonight showed that uh, Hibernian can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the top European sides. Yes, definitely. I think um, I certainly felt a bit more confident. You're never really sure what the game's going to be like when it's the last 32 Champions League and they're from a different country. Um, but the confidence I have has been boosted just by the fact that we managed to keep the ball a lot. We had a lot more space than I think we recognised. So I think we, if we had a bit more composure, then we could have got something a bit more out of the game. Um, but it just shows you at this level, the things that we probably take most is that if we make silly mistakes or we um, make wrong decisions in certain areas and you get punished as quickly as Slavia had punished us today. And it was just six minutes between those first three goals and the, the first half. Um, what's not to say that that cannot happen in the way leg in Prague later this month, uh, this time in, of course, Hibernian's favour? Yeah, definitely. I mean, in any level, you don't want to be losing that series of goals and a lot of them extremely preventable as well. Um, so I think we need to park that acknowledge where we've gone wrong in that kind of area maybe have a bit more discipline just to tuck in but just before half time um but i think going into the away leg we know what standard they're at we know what we can do and we know the places we might be able to exploit more having been up against them in the first leg and it'd be difficult to think back to now but like going ahead so early on must have been a, a massive boost for everyone in the squad Yes, definitely. Um, great for Siobhan to tuck that away for us and just to take, make the most, you know, first kind of opportunity and she puts it away um, was really good and maybe gave us a bit more confidence to go and play, but I think we just maybe switched off for a bit or um, Slavia just had the last boost before the end of the first half and, um, as you say, we can't let that happen again because we know we can get a foothold in the game. And just a quick note on Siobhan as well, that's her sixth goal in the last three matches. Uh, it's a fantastic return for a player that is typically a defender. Yes, well, Siobhan goes for everything and she's all heart with the team. So um, she really puts everything on the line for it, both in defence and her willingness to go and attack balls um, in dangerous crosses and um, getting on the end of corners and free kicks. So she's um, really important for us, both at the back and um, up at the park. And this is um, tonight's opposition as a side that's got to the quarterfinals in the last three or four seasons. Um, does that give you confidence now going to that way leg and also to that uh, Scottish Cup game at the weekend? Yeah, well, I think our standard will definitely automatically, just from playing a higher tempo team, then I think we'll be moving the ball really quickly on Sunday and you just kind of get almost the brush off the side effects of having a Champions League team makes you kind of step up your play. And I think we will be more confident going into the away leg now that we know what they're about and we know that we really have nothing to lose. Um, we need to go out there and attack them or we need to go out there and just tidy up the things we did because it really could have been and should have been a lot closer than 4-1. And finally, a uh, massive crowd here at Easter Road tonight, over a 1,000 fans in attendance. Uh, must be quite special to have that support behind you. Yeah, it was brilliant to see just um, people from all over coming in and supporting us and I think it made a big difference actually. Um, you could hear the shouts um, from the side, like making sure that in fullback I had people like Jean me on to stand up to the player in my one of you ones and just the roar you kind of get from supporting us all the way through the game is just really special and of course at Easter Road we're better to have it. Kaylin, thank you very much. Thank you.